Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can import track settings and plugin settings from an older session into a new fresh session in Logic Pro. Now there's a few different reasons why you might want to do this. Let's say you just finished mixing a track, but you have a second track with all the same instruments recorded in the same place and you want to apply the same effects that you did in your first mix to the new track. So this is an easy way to do that. So you don't have to recreate everything. You can just import it from the other session. Or maybe there's a software instrument sound that you really liked in an old session and you think it could work well in your new track. So you want to import that. So I'm going to show you how to do both those things. So let's jump in. So here I'm just starting out with an empty project. I've got one audio track loaded in. And let's say I'm going to be recording a vocalist. And maybe I've already recorded them once before and I mixed a song and I really like the effects that I got on their voice the first time. So I want to apply those same effects once again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import all those effects from my older session. So to do that, I'm going to go up to File, go down to Import, and I'm going to go to Logic Projects. And from here, I'm just going to go find my old session, click on the file from the old session, and then go to Import. And that'll open up this window here. And now, if you have multiple project alternatives in that session, it'll ask you here which session you'd like to import the settings from. So I'm going to go with the newest project alternative, click OK. And then now here you'll see all the tracks that I have in that project. For this particular one, there's only two tracks, and then my master bus, and then my reverb and delay. So I'm going to go to my vocal track here and I start scrolling over. And you'll notice there's a few different columns. So content, so this means I can import the actual content. So this would be the recorded audio on the track in my old session. In this case, that's not what I want. All I want is just the plugins. So here under plugin, I can check mark that. This will include all the inserts on my track, so my compression and EQ, but I also want my sends, which have my reverb and delay. So that's under here. Make sure I'll check mark that as well. And the last thing you're left with are the input and output routing. And same goes with the bus, keeping the bus numbers the same. If you're starting out with a blank session, then it's not important to have these check marked. If you do want to keep the numbers the same as your old session, then you can certainly check mark these. And lastly, you can also import any automation that you had on your previous track as well as any notes you might have added. So as I mentioned, for this, I'm just going to import the plugins and my send. So once I've selected that, I can go down here and either go replace or add. So if I click add, that's going to add a new track. And if I hit replace, that'll just replace the track I currently have. So right now I have just one audio track. You can see there's no effects on it at all. So in this case, I'm just going to go replace. And now it's asking me if I want to add the aux tracks that I had set up for the sends. And I do, because that's what has my reverb and delay on there. Otherwise, I could route them to another aux that I already have in my project, but currently I don't. So I'm just going to go add all. And then now on my track, you'll see I have my tape machine that I had before, and I've got my compression and my EQ. And here I've got all my sends. So I've got a long reverb, a short reverb, and a stereo delay. So I have my vocal chain already go, and it's basically pre-mixed for me. Now you can do the same thing for software instruments. So maybe there's some instruments that I used in a different project, which I changed a little bit, and maybe I like the sound that I got, and I think it could work well for this new track I'm doing. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go up to File, Import, Logic Projects, find that old Logic Project, click Import. Once again, select the right project alternative and go find the instrument that I wanted. So for in this case, let's just do this soft piano. I'm going to select the sends as well. And 
Maybe let's choose this guitar too. And now in this case, I'm gonna click add and that'll add these two new tracks to my project. And again, I'm gonna hit add all to add the aux tracks that were associated with those tracks, or I could reroute them to the aux tracks that I previously imported for the vocals. But in this case, I'm gonna add them so that I have the same reverbs that I used on the other project. And now I have the soft piano loaded in that I used on a different project, as well as this guitar instrument. So there you go. So there's a way that you can quickly build a new project from some old projects that you've already spent the time tweaking the sounds. And we're just importing those into a new session so that we don't have to recreate everything that we've already done if we're going for that same type of sound. Don't forget to download your free Logic Pro X hotkey cheat sheet by following the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.